Hello friends, thank you so much for joining us once again. And today, as you guys have seen according to the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about grocery store coffee. Is it good, is it bad? Can you find something tasty there? And what are a couple things that you should be looking for to get the coffee that you're going to enjoy the most? Let's get into this, folks. Let's go to the grocery store. Before we get into any of that, I just wanna preface this by saying, we would always recommend you to go to your local cafe, to your local roasting company in your town, and go buy coffee straight from them. That has so many different perks, but at the end of the day, it helps support small local businesses that actually want to provide you with their coffee, provide you with the thing that you're actually out in the grocery store shopping for. That being said, can you find a good or at least a decent bag of coffee at your local grocery store? Yeah, you can, even though that may be cringy to some people, but I think that if you can look for these three things, you can find a coffee that's going to do the trick for your morning brew at home. It has been all fun and games this past two weeks. Really beautiful weather, just sunny, blue skies, and all of a sudden it just turns back to this moody PNW weather. I guess that's what it's like living up in Washington. So the first thing we would say is when you go to a grocery store, look for the roast day. If Try to buy coffees that are within the one month mark of being roasted. Now, many coffees won't even have a roast date, which is a little unfortunate. Sometimes they'll have a sell by date. And that's also unfortunate because that doesn't really give you very much information as to when it was roasted and if it's actually still fresh. So number one, look for a fresh roast date and that will do wonders to your coffee decision making. Number two, we would say is look for your roast level or your, the color of your bean. Now I know everybody has a different preference. Some people like their coffees dark and roasty, which will give you this roasty, uh, smoky flavor. Um, and other people like their coffees a little more on the lighter side where you're getting a little bit more complexity and sweetness um, and intricacies in the flavor profile. Now, the good thing about grocery stores, they probably have a very wide variety. So now it's up to you to choose, hey, which one do you want? Do you want something dark, light, or do you wanna go for a beautiful middle ground and look for something that's a medium roast? Now that's up to you, but that will significantly change the flavor of your coffee that you get from the grocery store. In number three, last but not least, we would highly recommend people to buy whole bean coffee. Pre-ground coffee tends to lose a lot of those nuances and the beautiful flavors that we want to enjoy in coffees much, much faster. Now, if it was just ground yesterday or two days ago and it's right off of the roast, it's not that big of a deal. But most of the time, that is not the case, especially at your local grocery store. One of the best things to do is buy whole bean coffee and go grind it at home with the grinder that you have at home. Now, we totally understand that not everybody has an amazing grinder at home. Well, here's the good news. Most grocery stores will actually have a really great commercial grinder just down the aisle that is allowed for everybody to use who's shopping there. And using that grinder is gonna get you spectacular results and probably better than using that blade grinder that most of us have at home. And of course, you walk by the Topo Chico aisle, you have to pick up a Topo Chico. Cheers. So to wrap it all up, we would first off recommend go to your local roastery, go to your local cafe, or even your diner and buy coffee directly from them. It solves all the problems that you deal with when going to the grocery store. They're usually selling fresh coffee that was roasted within the last month. Number two, you can taste the coffee and get a, get a feel as to what you're getting yourself into into the next two weeks of 
buying a bag of coffee. And number three, it's whole bean coffee, which you have the opportunity to be able to ask them to grind it fresh right there on the spot just for you, which will just make your coffee taste that much better. But if you can't do that, we totally understand. Refer to the last three points that we made about buying coffee at your local grocery store because buying coffee at a grocery store can be overwhelming with all the options that they're offering there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.